let us talk about magnesium deficiency the symptoms of magnesium deficiency are the chlorosis that is the leaves becoming yellow in colors why the the leaves becoming yellowish and what is magnesium function you can see it over here here you can see the cluster of pigment molecules that is embedded in membrane the granum granum is nothing but the stack of thylakoids is called granum and here you can see the chlorophyll it is also called porphyrin ring and this portion is called hydrocarbon tail this is the magnesium deficiency why does magnesium deficiency cause chlorosis that is the chlorosis shows up in the older leaves first because the plant moves magnesium to newer leaves you can see this leaves affected by chlorosis that is it is uh, becoming slightly yellow in color you can see it over here this is called magnesium deficiency and now we are going to see about the importance of organic matter the first important thing is top soil it is the most important to plant a growth it is rich in organic matter and another one is humus humus is nothing but it is a decomposing organic material which break down of dead organics and faces fallen leaves and other organic refuses by bacteria and fungi you can see it over here and it, this humus which improves the soil texture it is used as the reservoir of minerals you can see it over here let us see about the fertilizer fertilizer which is divided into two types that is organic fertilizer and chemical fertilizer in organic fertilizer you can see the manure compost and fish meal this is organic fertilizer whereas the chemical fertilizer which is made up of commercially manufactured that is npk which is nothing but 15% of nitrogen 10% of phosphorus and 5% of potassium you can see here the fertilizer which is manufactured commercially by using chemicals this fertilizer also used as pesticide we well, let us discuss about irrigation irrigation is a huge drain on water resources when used for farming in arid region that can change the chemical makeup of soil salinization that is salt built up you can see here this land is look like slope it is used to irrigation purpose hi let us see about the nutrients spread and now you can see here how the nutrients are spread all over the land now we are going to take a two different kinds of lands that is one land is rich in nutrients you can see here and another land that is where the nutrients are low this is the difference between these lands the plant is grow well where the nutrients are rich but here the nutrients are low 
so the growth is affected and then we can yield more product crops compared to this land we can see the differences because of the nutrients so the nutrients are most important to plant life and now we are going to discuss about the erosion erosion is nothing but the loss of nutrients and topsoil from the cultivated land which is referred to as erosion erosion it is used to prevention of topsoil losses how we prevent the topsoil losses it is a strip cropping and counter tillage strip cropping is nothing but the practice of growing field crops in narrow strips either at right angles to the direction of the prevailing wind or following the natural contours of the terrain of prevent wind and water erosion of the soil you can see here the strip cropping and another one is counter cropping which is nothing but the slow it slows the water runoff and the erosion you can see this is the counter cropping it look like a slope here the running of water that fast of water is slow down by the slope so that the so the soil erosion will be avoided Thank you for watching from GTech